confusion and give different looks to this offensive line of the Mox. Mox keep it on the ground here. Big run up the middle, all the way up to the 39 yard line. Run off the left side, another big hole and another first down for Tyrell Price for the Mox. Round so far, let's see if Arnold goes to the air here. He is back to pass, looking for a target. Did he catch that? Are you serious right now? One-handed grab by the Mox for a first down. You won't see anything better than that even on a Sunday. That would miss me. Look at this. And look at the focus here as Henderson goes up for this outstretched arm, gets that <laughs> foot in bounce possession, and that's the catch. In third and eight. Arnold back to pass. Connects with a target across the middle, inside the 10-yard line, inside the 5-yard line. Look like That's Ryan and Demarcus two. Clay get him out of bounds. It's going to be a first down and goal. Arnold back to pass. In trouble, scrambling. Throws one into the end zone. Batted down. Heck of a play there by the Furman defense to shut down the touchdown opportunity. And he knocks it right through. The starting kicker, Gabe Boring, we found out right before the game, was going to have to miss this game. So the backup kicker, Skyler Wilson, comes in and does the job. To overload the left side. Let's see what Sisson can dial up on third down. Plenty of time. Actually, the ball is deflected up into the air and intercepted by the Mox. A huge turnover for the Paladins. You got the momentum. You try to double down on it. Keep the ball on the ground this time. Big hole up the middle for the Mox. All the way down inside the 20, inside the 15. Tyrell Price with a huge run. And Chattanooga's in business again. Arnold keeps it himself. Takes it to the outside, trying to stretch it out. Gets inside the two-yard line. He won't get into the end zone, but it appears he has enough for the first down. So first and goal from the one. They keep it on the ground and work their way into the end zone for the touchdown. Tyrell Price with his fourth score of the season. Berman looking to get something going. Fumble the football. It looks like the Mocs might have come up with it again. And they do a mishandle of the snap and two early turnovers for Furman. Jay Chattanooga's in business again. Ty Beck again. Handed off. If it was ever handled cleanly, and it looked like it just never was secured down. And the mocks flowing over the football, jumping on top of it. They are going to go for it. Arnold back to pass. Looking for six, overthrows his receiver. He was open, he had an opportunity to convert there. It was Blackshear on the coverage. That'll be a turnover on downs for the Mox and the Paladin defense rises up again. Wilson on to kick the football away for Chattanooga. Bad snap, he fumbles it, can't pick it up. Ball's on the ground and Furman will take over on down. So we talked about the kicking game making a difference. Can't make a much bigger difference than that. Duel of this defense, the open hole in the zone. Sisson rolls out. Running for his life already, tries to turn the corner. He does, keeps it himself. Might have got a yard, but man, no time at all for the play to develop. The Palins will be looking at fourth and long, and I'm assuming a field goal attempt here. Really need to put some points on the board. Start fighting their way back in this one. Kick has plenty of leg. Right through there for the field goal for the Paladins. So Furman gets their first points of the day. Really strong again, maybe even raising them up a little bit. Arnold back to pass. Paladins put some pressure on, deflected. What a catch by Furman. It's going to be an interception and another turnover. Spectacular grab by the Paladins. He was trying to catch it once the ball was deflected. Jeremiah Jackson coming through there on the pressure. You could see he was kind of held on that right shoulder. Football game so far. Furman takes over on downs. Sisson back to pass. Wide open receiver at the 30. is going to make his way inside the 25-yard line. That was Devin Abrams on the catch and the first real good play on offense for Furman this entire game. Sisson fakes the quick pass. Screen pass to Abrams. Stays on his feet after breaking a tackle. Gets down to the 28-yard line. And that is probably going to get Furman into field goal range. It'll be a long one for Timmy Bleakrode. Attempts. Timmy Bleakrode's career long is 47, so a long one for him. Good snap and hold. Kick's got enough leg. And it is no good. He misses that one. So Chattanooga will take over with pretty decent field position. That was a tough one into the win. Yeah. Cleveland, Tennessee. Yeah, so Copeland's first action. Keeps it himself. Finds a receiver. Good cutback and a first down up over the 40-yard line. Copeland 
Back to pass. Looking deep, has a receiver open, caught inside the 30 yard line. That'll be a first down for Chattanooga. Fox go with here. The hand to Appleberry. They had him in the backfield. He scored it away and picks up the first down for Chattanooga. A good piece of running there by Gino. He was patient, found a little seam, and then that play clock down. Fakes the handoff, pass across the middle, intercepted by the Paladins. That's going to shut down the opportunity here. Braden Gilby with the interception. Another huge, huge defensive play for Furman and another flag coming. Away with it. Sisson fires one down the middle and it's caught inside the 40 yard line. Devin Wynn. See if they can maybe get a late field goal opportunity or something more. Sisson scrambling, calls his own number, cuts it back, stays on his feet inside the 25, down to the 20 yard line. He'll be taken down there. A huge play by Hamp Sisson. Tackled by Dowdell again for the second time and three opportunities today. Good snap and hold. Kick is up. It is right down the middle and good. A defense off of the field. We'll see what Sisson can do on third down now. Pass, fires, caught out over the 40 yard line. Ryan DeLuca with the grab. Paladins keep it on the ground. They do pick up the first down into Chattanooga territory. Ball, so we'll continue to see how that O line is moving the line of scrimmage. Simpson back to pass. Connects down to the 30 yard line for the first down. Noah Henderson with the grab. Line, Chattanooga's not even ready. Now they are. They run it quickly. Abrams off the right side, picks up the first Devin down. So a Paladins really quick down. snap for Furman. Helps to move the chains again this time. Makes it, rolls out. Sisson into the end zone for the touchdown. Furman leads. With the touchdown catch. Bleak Road trying to add the extra point, and of course it's blocked and caught by Chattanooga. Now a lateral. All kinds of craziness. He cuts chance. it back. This could be very interesting. It's Rashawn Freeman over the 20, over the 30. He tripped and goes to the ground. Of course, the weirdness of this game continues, and there's a weird score now as well. Furman on top, 12 to 10. Okay, on third down for Chattanooga, rubbed out by that penalty. Arnold fires one deep. That ball is caught at the 50 to the 40 yard line, all the way down to the 32 yard line. Third and 16 conversion. Another big run off the left side inside the 20 yard line now for Gino, Gino Appleberry. Inside. Almost an identical looking play with an identical result. Trying to work his way down into the end zone, goes out of bounds Gino at the three yard line. Clay shoves out his teammate. Appleberry up to 57 yards, gets it again into the end zone, and Chattanooga has taken the lead you know, back Appleberry here at Paladin Stadium. Great kick and punt returner for the Paladins. Low snap, gets it away. Well, oh, there's a whistle as well. Oh, they're calling him down. They're saying he knelt down to pick up the football, and another huge kicking miscue for the mocks. On special teams, we'll see here as the knee goes down. So a low snap, he did. It looked like that knee hit the ground. Pass out in the flat to Thomas, inside the 10 yard line, inside the five. What's the call? Into the end zone for the touchdown. A one play drive for the Paladins, and they are back on top. Kendall Thomas, the freshman. Devin Wynn, the lone back. Sisson back to pass. Throws it out in the flat to win, and he's going to be stood up there and not convert. So the two-point conversion will come up empty up against their own goal line. Third down. Arnold gets hammered, gets rid of the football, intercepted by the Paladins. Another turnover, and Hugh Ryan gets the pick this time. Coming off the edge, flying in there, and that's what caused that ball being shot up in the air. There goes Anderson in motion. Sisson back to pass. Has some time. Tries to make a connection out there. There was some contacts. Got confidence in them. Send out the punting unit and try to pin them back again on this next drive. Leak road kick. They allow it to hit. And it goes into the end zone. They almost made a miracle play down there at the one yard line. Chattanooga takes over on their own 20 yard line. We've got a quarterback change. Pass into the secondary. That's going to pick up 25 yards. Gilby on the tackle. Copeland. 
Back to pass, has some time, fires, connects down to the 40-yard line. That's going to be a first down for Chattanooga. His defense trying to stuff the run. Nope, they do go with it up the middle. They get the ball over the 30-yard line. That's going to be a first down. And Gilby with another tackle for the Paladins. It's third and 10 here. Copeland hands it up the middle. No place to go. Get down to the 25. Hugh Ryan on the tackle. Days in to hold. Good hold. Kick is up. And it is good. Barely makes it over the crossbar. Just enough distance. Next down. See, Furman has not been good on third downs today, just two of 10. Sisson rolling out. Lost one deep, looking for win, and that ball appears to be intercepted, and it is, so a costly turnover for Furman. Jarrell Lawson makes the interception for the Mox. All we'll see here is Wynn running the corner route, all just a little bit too far out in front. Sisson back to pass. Finds a wide open receiver up close to the 40 yard line. That's Ryan Miller and a big first down for the Paladins. Anderson goes in motion. Sisson back to pass. He's in trouble. Stays on his feet, fumbles the football, and it's recovered by the Paladins. Evan Jumper jumps on it. Sisson back to pass. In trouble again. Fumbles the football. And it appears Chattanooga has recovered, and that will seal the win for the Mox. Again. Take over first and 10 at the 38-yard line. Yeah, Sisson just had it knocked out of his hands. 